So I've been wanting to put together a video for you guys showing off my uh, microwave I have set up in my van. And I'm going to pull it out um, along with what I have powering it. But I just wanted to show kind of what it looks like in the van. You can see me in the reflection there. But this is kind of the setup. I, I've, I've been taking stuff out. I'm actually making a career change. And I will no longer have a van. So I'm kind of just rushing to make this video. So you could see what it's like to have this set up in a work van. Um, and I just have a little rig up holding it in place. So this, this won't slide around. Um, and you know, it doesn't even move enough where that... Uh, that doesn't bounce or anything. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the battery setup and then I'll put them on the workbench and explain what's going on. Here. So coming around to the passenger side, this is kind of just rigged up. This is the temporary setup because I cleaned out my van and then I just threw the stuff back in so I could be having some warm lunches. But I've got a 12 volt uh, power cable running to the back to the accessory power in the back. And then this is what I've got powering the uh, microwave. I live in New York, so um, I have to try to keep this thing warm. So I've got some just some Reflectix that I actually use to black out the windows of a Tahoe I used to have that I would camp in. Um, so I just got it lined on the floor and then here, and I just basically turn the heat on uh, to the footwell. And in doing that, it warms the battery up enough that I don't have to worry about um, damaging this lithium battery. So let's pull this out. I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what I got going on because I think this is an awesome option to keep you from uh, you know, going through the fast food line if you're a trades worker. It's a bit of an investment, but I think it's worth it in the long run. All right, so let's go to that. Okay, so here's kind of what I got going on. I got the Blue Eddy EB70. I think it's 70S. And this is basically what they're calling these days a solar generator. I'm not really sure. It's not necessarily a generator, but it's a power supply or a battery uh, that gets charged by either solar or there is a 120 uh, wall adapter that comes with it. Or um, what I've been using is just this cigarette lighter uh, plug adapter, which gives me about 100, volt, or 100 watts of charge, you know, at any given time. This battery can put out um, 800 watts or well, the inverter inside of this battery can put out 800 watts uh, continuous. I think there's a peak rating. I don't remember what it is. Probably about 1,400 watts for you know one or two seconds, and then continuously it can put out 800. And I believe the size on this is like 720 watt hours. Um, so when you're trying to run a microwave, you need to get one of these inverter microwaves. Now this is. Panasonic's patented technology. I don't really know a whole lot about the ins and outs of this, but my understanding from the research that I've done is a standard microwave um, will just switch the power on and off. So if you if I if I dialed the power down on this, so this is a 950 watt uh, microwave. If I dialed the power down on this, and it was a standard microwave, it would basically just run that. 950 watts for let's say three seconds and then be off for six seconds and then run for three seconds again at any given power and then the next power might run for five to six seconds and only be off for three or four seconds so however it works is basically switching that power on and off versus actually dialing down the amount of watts being output or being you know yeah being output so you need to get this type of microwave to be able to do this with a battery that's undersized so this battery is about 530 or 40 dollars which is pretty steep but i can use this for camping i'm planning on building an adventure van at some point in my life so this would be great for that um and just it's it's very portable this is not you know it's not too big uh compared to let's say this milwaukee light it's not really all that big so this is easy to carry around and you got a lot of good other DC power options, and this isn't a review on this, but I can zoom in at the end and just show you kind of some of the features if you don't really know much about this world of things. But this whole setup's probably about, uh, I think this was 150 bucks, so we're looking at, what's that math? $700 between the two plus tax. Um, this has been allowing me to actually lose some weight. Um, 
stop hitting the fast food so much. I've been able to make my meals and have them warm. And it's, you know, it's, it was negative two degrees yesterday. I don't want to be eating cold food when it's like that. So this has really made a huge difference. I just got to let this warm up. Like I was showing you guys in the footwell for a couple minutes. And then I know that I'm protecting this because this obviously wasn't cheap and I want to keep it safe. But this microwave has been a godsend. So I'll just basically set this to, so let's plug it in. Um, this battery's pretty well drained. I've been using it. Um, so you see this plugged in, it shows you the input amount of Watts and the output amount of Watts right now it's at 20%. So this might not even run for very long, but I'm going to bring over the microwave and kind of show you how this works. Um, there's a power level option and this P10. So the amount of times you click this, it gives you a certain amount of, um, power level. So the lower, the less power it's using. I ran this with my uh, test cord that I have here. This, and I basically just verified how many amps this was pulling when it ran at that before plugging it into my battery so that I didn't damage anything. So you set it to power level four, that's what I can get away with with this setup. And then I just dial this up. I normally do four minutes um, and you can see that start and that's running this microwave. And if I show you this, You'll see we're pulling 660 watts. I could probably get away with power level five. You know, let's try it just for the video. I'm kind of switching back and forth between wide angle because it's just I'm so up close to this stuff. But um, so we'll reset this. Let's go to power level five just for experimental purposes. And that will, it's turning it on. We'll see what happens here. So we're kind of redlining this thing right now. And that's, I, I didn't feel comfortable doing that. I think that's why I've been using power level four and I'm sure there's not a massive difference between the two in cook time. So, you know, if I got to sit for four minutes, it's not the end of the world. Um, but this, this will run, basically this could run this microwave for about an hour at this power level, a little bit less than an hour because, you know, it's pulling 785 watts um, and it's got a capacity of 720 watt hours. So. Over the course of an hour, it could pull, you know, 50, 50 minutes I could run this microwave in power level five. That gets you through a whole week without even charging the thing. And I've been able to keep it trickle charged basically using this on an uh, accessory power plug just so I don't drain the battery of the van either. But I can use this, have this charging while I'm driving. I drive quite a bit. I could try to shut this off. Um, have a charging wherever I'm driving that gives me you know an hour of charge put 100 watts back in the thing and I'm pretty much keeping it topped off whenever I need it so let's just show you this blue eddy especially if you're not familiar with this world of uh these things I'm pretty into the van life thing so I'm kind of just used to this but you got two different USB-C ports with 100 watt outputs each so you could charge two macbooks basically um, standard USBs, 3 amp, 5 volts. You got these barrel plugs, um, regular cigarette lighter, and then you have four 120 outlets to grounded. They, they accept something with a ground. These are not grounded. Let's just be clear about that. And then two non grounded. And then, because everything these days has to have a light on it, um, it has a light. So I just thought it'd be cool to show you guys. Um, leave it down in the comments if you want some more information and I can kind of explain and walk through a little bit more probably or just give you guys links to this stuff. Um, thanks for watching. And thanks again for, uh, well, I, I don't even know if I said thanks, but thanks for all the crazy amount of subs. I kind of flew past 100 subscribers and I wasn't even expecting it and now I'm at like 160 as I'm making this video. So it's been cool to make videos and it's been pretty rewarding to get to talk to you guys back and forth. But Think about doing this for your work van. You want to put some money into it. Um, it'll really keep you eating a lot better. And if you can get someone to make you meals on Sunday and have them for the week, you're good to go. All right. Thanks. See you guys in the next video.